Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm going to do a quick video right now before uh, tonight's game and uh, probably do a post game show for you tomorrow, regardless of the outcome. Rangers win, Rangers lose. Hopefully, there's still another game to watch in the series. I, of course, am Mark Williams. Thank you very much for joining me today. And going to talk about game six and some of the headlines that we're getting into because obviously. Jacob Truba is going to be the story because he says he's ready for the Penguins retaliation. And uh, hopefully, you know, I, I, I made this comment on the Twitter page just now. Hopefully the Penguins are out for blood. Hopefully they want to take off Jacob Truba's head. Hopefully they just so incensed. They don't care about anything except Jacob Truba. And the reason why I kind of hope that is because well, if you're thinking about Jacob Trouba that way, you're not thinking about trying to win game six and move on to the next round. So if you're the Pittsburgh Penguins, I wouldn't even be thinking about Jacob Trouba. And hopefully that's not going to be the case. But look, it's understandable, especially when you lose your superstar, your captain, Sidney Crosby. His status right now, uncertain. And you don't know. Uh, whether or not he's playing, he's being reevaluated, and you know his history with concussions. Honestly, I hope he plays, and I hope the Rangers. I mean, I'm obviously I'm a Rangers fan, but I'm also trying to be at least a little bit impartial. But it's you know, hopeful. Hopefully, it's not anything long term. I don't know what your thoughts on the hit are. Go ahead, throw it down in the comments below, and uh, got some of these graphics now, so. Go ahead, drop a comment on that. And obviously, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for all the other stuff. So you got to have your focus right here. And this is what Mike Sullivan should be preaching. He should be preaching that the Pittsburgh Penguins should be focusing on closing out the series, not on any petty feuds. And that could easily disrupt the Penguins. Now. Today is May 13th, and you know what happened three times in the last decade? The New York Rangers won a Game 7 on May 13th, two against Washington Capitals and one against Pittsburgh Penguins. That was eight years ago when Henrik Lundqvist made the armpit save. I still don't have any idea how that man did it. And, and then he held on to the puck when Malkin crashed the net. It's still amazing to me. And... Maybe that's a little bit of a sign that we might be seeing a game seven. And if that's the case, great for everybody involved. So, but I do have to sound off about this. The Rangers the other night dressed seven defensemen. Now I know where the point is with this, because do they really have to embarrass Patrick Nemeth this way? I am not a Patrick Nemeth fan and I am all favor for him being a healthy scratch. But 16 seconds of ice time, I understand he basically became Lindgren insurance. That's all he was there for. And when Ryan Lindgren couldn't play one shift, Nemeth went in, and then that was it. But I've had this happen to me when I was in high school, and I was a first-year player, and it really wasn't that bad because I knew exactly what I was. This is a professional hockey player. 16 seconds? I mean, it's almost about as close as uh, Gil Hodges walking out the left field to take Cleon Jones out of a game. Met fans, you know what I mean by that. It's it, it's just something that it, just scratch him, scratch him, go with Jones, go with someone else. I because it makes you wonder what the rest of that contract is going to look like and the rest of that tenure is going to look like if. This is just what you're going to get from Patrick Nemeth. All right, moving on, going around the league. Tampa Bay and Edmonton forced game seven. Uh, Cam Talbot, who went in for Marc-Andre Fleury, dropped the game to the St. Louis Blues. Seven goals in the series by uh, Kirill Kaprizov. Wow, what a series for him. But Minnesota, you have a lot of work cut out for you. With all the cap penalties you're getting, this year and next year, uh, 14 million in cap penalties, and the Rangers still have four and a half million that's going to be on the books for their cap penalties 
and that might cost them a good player. Fourteen million. I mean, Bill Guerin has done a great job with this team, and hopefully, he can find a way around that because this was a year for this team to really kind of press and go for it. But you still got Kirill the Thrill. That's all that matters. Zook has done a great job with them too. So keep going, and I hope for the best for you next year. St. Louis Blues, that is a team to be reckoned with. Colorado Avalanche may have their hands full. That is why it's kind of important that the Blues won this game. So that way they at least get another day of rest. Looking over at Edmonton, I thought L.A. was going to come back and do it. Instead, they got to play Edmonton uh, game seven on Saturday. So, folks, there is going to be three game sevens on Saturday, and I can't wait to watch them all because the Boston Bruins also forced game seven. And if you listen to the Bar Talk segment with me and Anthony in our main podcast, you know that I said there won't be a road win in that series. That means Carolina is going to win, but you don't want to exactly risk that in game seven either. Also, uh, just Toronto Maple Leafs, they showed an immense amount of guts coming back from a 2 nothing deficit again, taking the lead with seven seconds remaining in the second period. But it might be some questionable officiating, which has been the story of the playoffs, to get Tampa Bay a 5-on-3 power play. They end up scoring, tying the game, going to overtime, and Braden Point, great play in front to just finish it off. Jack Campbell, I, I am a critic of Jack Campbell. Uh, I've looked at his numbers over and over again, but I got to tell you, he's, he's played probably his best two games of the year in games five and game six. So and that was after game four when he wasn't very good and he got pulled. But Sheldon Keefe said he took it like a champ. So, hey, actually... Didn't put the O in there. So, well, game seven, can the Rangers force it? That's going to be a great question. What do you guys think? Throw it down in the comments below. If you have anything, any thoughts on that hit, feel free to put it in there. I'm still kind of torn whether or not it was a good hit or not. It's I, I think they were both kind of reaching and, but then again, when you get that elbow out, that's that's not a good thing either. So Pittsburgh fans, I think you got something there. I don't know about supplemental discipline, though, because that might have just been in the flow of the play. Again, uh, I'm I'm all over the place when it comes to that hit. It's going to be a great game tonight. Well, it better be a great game. Anything's got to be better than game four, right? So we'll see whether or not the New York Rangers get back Tyler Mott tonight. There has been rumors that he might play in game six. That would be a huge addition for a team badly in need of some physical players. Thank you very much. Hit that like. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe. We have so much more. Please like and subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of great hockey content and an entertaining interactive podcast. So check us out and our library of videos. Your ideas are intriguing to me and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.